hello everyone welcome to my channel asp.net core and today i am going to show you the next video tutorial of maui uh, tutorial and in this video tutorial just i am going to discuss about uh, uh, dictionary resources so uh, in the style tab in the style directory you have to just add resource dictionary actually resource dictionary is used to where you want to add a new templates and uh, if you want to use templates in your project and uh, if you want to uh, reduce uh, duplication of the code and uh, you want to reusability of the code so just you can use resource dictionary as a resource dictionary you can use a static resource in your application so uh, if you want to use resource dictionary first of all use xml comp dash comp for compiler so compile is to and uh, you can say that uh, that uh, that code that is previously added code uh, for the collection view so just add this data template uh, uh, just cut from the collection view bind page and paste inside your resource dictionary so uh, just provide the key for the data template because inside it you can take uh, more than one data template so for differentiate purpose so you can just define the key to the data templates so here we have a call one uh, as a data uh, as a key okay now just remove the section of the collection view dot item template from the collection view and define inside uh, it that is the item templates and item templates is what that is the static resources and the static resources means calls one so here you can say you can define it very easy way uh, it's not a, a defined uh, uh, that is the uh, static resource that is key equals to not call one that is directly you can define that is call one okay so you can just directly you can define the call one as a key okay uh, And now after that you can uh, you can just use a resource dictionary in your app.saml file or you can say that define resource dictionary for the initialization purpose. So uh, add the uh, add your uh, newly added resource dictionary uh, inside your app.saml file in the resource dictionary dot merge dictionaries uh, with the source properties where your source is the path where your uh, dictionaries exist. So resources styles and the resource dictionary dot saml file okay so uh, now define the first page first of all that is the collection view bind that is the first page defined uh, remember that your output is not uh, actually happen uh, your output is not uh, uh, got uh, correctly because inside it you can take a checkbox control stack layer uh, and checkbox uh, is actually converted by the converter class you can say so that is the not correctly defined uh, or your uh, output is not uh, uh, become a, a correct output or you can say that empty screen will be given why 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 this happening uh, because it's uh, all things are correct but you notice that uh, in the inside your stack layout you have a checkbox control and with the uh, checkbox control have a converter class and that converter class is bind with the converter i value converter okay so <clears throat> you can see uh, here we have a code that all things are correct product view model is correct binding context is correct and uh, everything is correct and you can say that is popular property uh, in the form of the string is the correct yes or no so the key is call one but the value is empty that that is the main reason behind this that is the stack layout here we have checkbox each check property binding is popular converter that is the converter static resource and where is the static resource because it's not used right here uh, in the static resource so just remove from um, from the current uh, dictionary and you check that is the out uh, the output of uh, your project uh, of your source code that is the correct output for for your source code that is uh, here we have two product in the collection view okay 
and if you want to add that is checked uh, checkbox and you you want to use converter class in your with your resource dictionary so how to use converter class in a resource dictionary so that is the topic is how to use converter class in a resource dictionary so you can use converter class in a resource dictionary just you have to add a namespace first of all by using the xmlns that is the thing you can do uh, in your uh, maui that is namespace xmlns convert clr namespace maui tutorial that is with the assembly maui tutorials and you can use convert bool converter x colon key bool con and finally you you can use bool con as a converter class as a static resource so converter equals to static resource bool con is the static resource so finally you can just uh, you you can use or you can uh, you can uh, you can uh, use converter class inside your resource dictionary now that is the thing uh, behind your uh, code if you want to show only popular products instead of uh, not popular so the popular product is actually it's a type of string property is popular is a string property but that but that is represent in the form of the checkbox so if you want to show only the popular products then you can use selectors and if you want to use data templates uh, so you can use a data template selector so uh, here we have a class just create a new class that the name is product data template selector and inherit that class with the data template selector and data template selector is actually override that math method that is own selector and inside the own selector own select template inside the own, own select template here we have two parameter that is the object of type item and the bindable object that is container and you can see that here we have a item and you can say that item is a type of the product and you can see that a product is if it is pro product product is popular then you can say that application dot current dot resources in the form of output resources as a data template so just pass that uh, item only you just you want to show only popular items so is popular item is a type of item as a type of uh, product so item is a product is popular item dot is popular okay is double equals to you can say so it's not a bool actually it's a string so just check yes is popular is yes then you can use selectors uh, then you can say that is popular is a type of strings property so you cannot use uh, types of a bool because a converter class is actually convert that string to the bool but uh, if you want to use another property there is a no need if you want to understand that selectors selector is actually used where you want to convert uh, or you can say to transform your template into the data templates form so uh, is popular item is popular is double equals to yes then you can say that application dot current dot resources dot get uh, get value try get value uh, of the resource directory uh, or you, you can say that a resource dictionary inside it you can take it and resource dictionary uh, just come out in the form of output parameter where as a and in the form of first of all pick the dictionary name resource dictionary name where you want to bind it that is the product text that is the name where you want to static resource and if you want to use selectors then you must to add a namespace of the selectors so x m l n s data template equals to clr namespace okay so here we have 
so after that you can use CLR namespace and the CLR namespace is what that is the selector namespace that is Maui tutorials dot selectors and Maui tutorials dot selectors is the namespace name so here we he so here we can use content page dot resources data template uh, data template colon product template data uh, product data template selector x colon key is a data temp so here you can use data temp now in the selector you can just add where uh, first of all pick that uh, key name that is the product dictionary just uh, just I want to uh, just convert it so just add it here product dict so inside it you can take product template or you can say product as a data template just you want to return it so return product as a data template so you want to return it okay so only the popular item will be display if is popular is yes if it is exist then return that if it is not exist then return the null template or you can say that empty templates so return a new object of the data template okay now run your project and you will see that only the popular product will display okay you can see only the product only the popular product will display on your screen like that and if you want to convert it in the form of the boolean just you can use uh, inverter operator and if it is you want to use no there is a no need to know just convert it into the bool format so thank you guys for watching this video tutorial and keep watching all other videos which is related to dotnet maui i have a full playlist uh, which is related to maui you can see in my channel playlist and where you can see uh, Maui tutorials so you can learn many more things about uh, your Maui so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to .NET Maui thank you very much for watching